Exorium Games presents Bear With Me, Episode 2. Meanwhile, out in the parking lot where it was raining, at Shell's Bay Diner, Vivi sat out in the rain. While I was looking at this brand new Buick with the number plate PCA86. <laughs> and inside there was. Uh. Oh, what's her name? Uh. Marilyn Monroe behind the counter and some. passed out chef at the table. Well, well, well. Look what the booze dragged in. Wow. That was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as ever, and you've grown. Oh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24-Hour Shift Survivor. Oh. You really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? I couldn't <laughs> hear you over the sound of you being so short. It's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming. Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure you deserved it. He did. Women, you can't kill him but they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing says I'm <laughs> sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? After what you did, I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury indeed. It seems you two have a history together. That's an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just we're kind of in a hurry. Have you seen CBG? We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him? We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately, or talked to anyone who has? Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. Um... Have you seen CBG? Have you seen CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How can we find him? You can start at the container terminal. He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. As you, you talked to him lately. He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. He almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well... Second best. <laughs> Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep, here I am, just enjoying my retirement. Retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. Uh, what do you know about the Red Man? Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the Red Man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. I know you've heard about him. So, what's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. Who told you about Flint? Who told you about Flint? Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans? You should really give him more credit. Every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. <laughs> 
I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still <clears throat> writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. Is that Pete over there? Yep, that's old Pete. Who's Pete? He works here at the docks. He sure is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? <laughs> Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this and that. Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something. Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. Sure thing, babe. So, you and Betty. Shut up. <laughs> popcorn! I want popcorn. Give me popcorn. A freshly made batch of buttery and probably overpriced popcorn. Oh, so it's straight from the cinema then. Let me uh, just turn down the volume a little bit here. Uh, why? Resume. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me for another end of the week treat. This time, I am going to be continuing on the story of Bear with Me. Now, for those of you that missed episode one, I will link the videos in the description for this video, if you do wish to have a watch. Uh, this video is continuing on straight from the episode one, uh, where we're entering Paper City and continuing our story chasing the Red Man. Let's investigate around anyway. So, we got popcorn over here. Can we pick up the popcorn? I'll just grab that while no one's looking. Yes, yes, we can grab the popcorn. Dirty bar. Boy, this place is a mess. Um, loaf of bread. I prefer my food in liquid form. Well, I, you, uh, yes. I was going to say you would as a bear, but it's more of a case of, no, you just prefer alcohol. It's an empty you? mug. Why is this kind of gun circly? Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got the Swiss Army knife, the level 6 sword, and some popcorn. Can we pick up the empty mug? We can. I'll take this. It could be useful. Okay, what else we got? Another dirty table. I'm going to have a look. Boy, this... Same there. Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. <laughs> Shaft. Right on. Uh, bar stool. No time for sitting. Mm. Dirty table again. Seems like oh boy, this. Okay, what else we got? Teddy bar, jukebox. Oh, we can. Wow, that thing has seen better days. Let's go and interact, interact with it. I got boxes. Oh, what was that? Nox. Nimbus Supreme. Oh, it's the broomstick from Harry Potter. I don't have any change. Um, so we need to find some change. Okay. Let's have a look at the boxes. I spent 12 hours in a box once, until she remembered that we were playing hide-and-seek. Just amber things. <laughs> Nimbus Supreme! That's some fancy broom. Still a broom, though. True, true. Uh, fire alarm. That would wake him up. It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. Okay, guess that won't wake him up. Windows? Not much use when you can't see through them. Dun, do -do -do -do. Oh, coffee machine! Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It was born for the sleepy guy. Sleepy guy needs coffee. Fridge. Filled with chilled carroty goodness. My god, do I need a drink. You want carrots? Bears want carrots? Pictures? Oh, wow. There's Ted, Betty, and CBG a couple years back, I guess. Um, what else we got in here? We can speak to Betty again. I think we'll just interact with Pete. He's really out cold. You say it as if it's a bad thing. Um, we can try and talk to Pete, which I guess is not going to happen as he's asleep. Zzz. Okay, that answers that question. Um, let's try talking to Betty again. Aspiring actor. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? 
Uh, it's for the sleepy dude. To me, it's for the poor, it's for the lamb. We need it to save the president's life. We need it to save the president's life. Yeah? And who is our president? That's a trick question. We don't have one. Ted, your aloofness knows no bounds. <laughs> um, it's for the lab. It's for the lab. We're getting into some molecular coffeeology. Whatever gets you off the streets, honey. But our coffee is just brown paint and water. Not much to analyze there. Is that... Is that a no on the coffee, then? That's a no, Ted. Um, it's for the poor. It's for the poor. Come on, who do you take me for? Wow. Okay, so I guess it's for it's me. It's for me. <laughs> you're supposed to cure the hangover the next day, Bear. Not while you're still drunk. Oh, wow. Are you here all week? Is it the two drinks minimum? <laughs> I mean, why isn't there a sitcom about you already? Actually, my agent is working on it. Don't let him work too hard. Okay, so... It's none of these? But, but we want it for Pete. Um... Can we give the empty mug on Pete? I don't think so, pal. No, we need to... I think we need to use the mug on something. Mug on the coffee I machine. I don't think so, pal. No, okay. Um, mug on Betty? I don't think so, pal. No, okay. Um, what else can we use the mug on? Stick it out the window, fill it full of water. We can go outside. Ooh, we have a map. Greetings from we Paper City. We back to the Harbor Doll. I need to talk to CBG and see if he knows more about all of this. You're right. Let's go back. Um, so to the harbor. Where do we're at the harbor, aren't we? How do we get to the harbor? Alright, okay, we're now outside, so daily specials. If they're so special, why are they not on the menu? Good point. Huh? It's Pete's car. Looks shabby. Greenery. Clark. Hmm. You look you look like you're worth investigating. Oh, what was going on with Pete's car? Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry. He won't mind. Or notice. Or both. <clears throat> Are we just... Don't worry. Oh, okay. Guess we can't yet. Uh, greenery? No, okay. Clark. Ooh, who are you, Clark? Hmm. There's Clark. He seems to be fishing, but something is... Don't say it! ...fishy about him. Wow! <laughs> Oh, where's the CSI Miami introduction with that? <sighs> Let's go and have a word with Clark. Greetings, Clark. I thought you were Vivi. Nice hood. Hi, Clark. Caught anything yet? Oh, great. It's you two. Nothing yet. I think I'll just call the night soon. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. So, you're fishing to get by. Times are tough. Fishing to get by? It's not the 1600s, Ted, now is it? No one fishes to get by anymore. Except fishermen. Like, as a hobby. In the middle of the night, while it's raining. That's when the yeah, best well, fish are out. I got this raincoat, don't I? And I don't have to work in the morning. I'm a successful entrepreneur, actually. I made a fortune selling bubbles. What? It's all rather complicated. I can do a presentation if you have a minute. I'm afraid. Hell no. No. <laughs> We're in a hurry, but maybe some other time? Fine. I, I guess I can just give you this pamphlet. You can read about it in there. Sure, we'll, um, read it later. <laughs> I can't wait. And you being here at this ungodly hour has nothing to do with a certain waitress, Clark. Betty? No, no, we're just friends is all. I'm not stalking her. She <clears throat> seems like it. Well, I'm not. Legit. I don't care what the court has to say. It's just I'm here because I like fishing. You're not even looking at the water. You're turned towards the diner. I don't have to look at the bloody water to fish. It's pitch dark anyways. When I see the pole getting twitchy, I, I get to reeling. That's it. Sure. All right. I'll just go back to it then. And I'm sure you're very busy. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. And scaring away the you. More like it. Okay, bye. See you later, Clark. I'll be here. I bet you will. Okay, okay, thanks. Bye. We can never look at the fishing rod. We steal the fishing rod. Can you, like, not stand there? Okay, apparently we can't steal the fishing rod. Um, oops, We can look at it, though. I don't buy it. I think it's fake. Oh. Hmm. Fake fishing rod, hey? Garbage dumpster. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. Um, we could chuck. It's filled with barren. the things. Just top shelf stuff. Garbage. Greenery. More like grayery. 
Yes, yes, but the sign it is pretty much very grayery. It's not very greenery. Shell's Bay Diner, where everybody barely knows your name. <laughs> wow. Okay. Literally living up to its name, Diner. We can this look. place wouldn't be the same without Betty. Boo boo be doo. Uh, we gotta look at the special. So special. Why are they not on the menu? Good point. Mm, I think we've seen everything now. Can we, can we, can we use the saw? Ooh, pamphlet. Can we read this pamphlet? I want to read the pamphlet. Use the sword on the no fishing rod. for a sword fight, although I'd totally win. <laughs> I'm sure you would, Ted. I'm sure you would. Um, so how can I use this pamphlet? Can I use this pamphlet on something inside, maybe? Throwing this away is about the only use. Oh, oh, is that a hint? Maybe if I throw the pamphlet in the bin... Throwing this away is about the only useful purpose that I can think of. So why don't you do it then, huh? Huh? I'm trying to throw it away, but you just won't let me. Ooh, maybe I'll throw it into the dumpster. Throwing this away is... No, okay. It, 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 I, I, I was taking a hint, but it, it wasn't really the right hint, I guess. So can I use the pamphlet on Betty? Throwing this away. No. Uh... Can I use can I use the sword on Pete? No time for a sword. No. Nope. Hmm. Swiss Army knife on. Someone might get hurt that way. No. Nope. And let's go back outside. Can we? Oh, okay. We can go to Paper City. Okay. So where do we never? Can we, we navigate? We should get back to the Harbor Doll. You're right. How do we get to the harbor? Can we get to the harbor? It's a little bit confusing. We should go find. Uh, see, I can see where the boats are, which to says to me that the harbor's there, which is here. But it looks like there's. Con he said it was down by the containers. So how do I get to the containers? Um, I'm guessing because it's red, it's the only place I can go right now. Okay, so I'm missing something here. I'm guessing we need to wake up Pete in some way to get, um, um, we need to get the car. Seems yeah. like a good idea, but something is missing. Oh! Oh! The coffee! Get some hot coffee and give it to Clark! Maybe that will work. Um, because there was that, there was a list of options and none of them were working, so there must have been some sort of interaction I should have done. So let's try that. Coffee, mug, I don't tea. think so. Um. Filled with chill. No, no, just talk to Betty. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already... It's not. Who's it for? It's for... No, no, it's for the guy outside. Um, it's for the. Come on. Hmm. So how do I do? I need to go and speak to Clark again. Is that what I need to do? By the looks of it, that that hint message was that um, I should be doing something with it for Clark. But I need to put something in it, I guess. Can I get the popcorn to Clark? Nope. Okay. I love how that was almost literally a direct answer from Ted. Can I get that popcorn to Clark? Nope. The spark is the sign is sparking in the rain. Doo doo be doo. Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> You're so funny, Snoop. He's really not. Snoop Bear. Any luck? <laughs> He's. Um, popcorn. I don't think so. Oh. Um, mug on fishing rod? What? Yeah, I know. Totally wouldn't work. Mug on Clark. Seems like a good idea. Hmm. Give it the Throw pamphlet this back. Away. Oh. Someone might get Someone might get hurt. On the, the no fishing time. rod? No. Um, can I use the sword on the car? No time for Oh. Um, things and stuff. What am I missing here? I'm missing something here. Oh, bridge. I can go to a bridge?
Let's have a look at the bridge. Ooh, hello. Bridge control room. There's an oil can. Ooh, no, 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 no. Get the oil can. This looks like it could be useful. Just grab that real quick. Why don't you grab it real quick, short staff? Yoink. <laughs> Power gap. Nah, I don't feel like touching electrical stuff. Uh, well, we're definitely... So, that's the way the containers are. Okay, that answers that question. It's where we'll find CBG, according to Betty. We just need to lower the bridge. Right. Okay, let's go into the control room, then. Ooh, what's going on in here? We got bottles. This looks like a safe magnet. Specific magnet. Yoink. I'll just take this with me. Uh, magnets. A collection of magnets. How cute. Um, buttons. Beep boop. All right, boop. let's give it a shot. Ooh. The Rad Two Hundred check core temp. Yes, no. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. Oh, direct access. No, DAC, really? Launch nuclear strike button thingy. Yes. Keyhole. Brown thingy. Switches. What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. Um, I feel like this needs a fuse. There's something missing. Or my name isn't Barbara. The fuse is missing, Barb. Okay. Pointy things? Pointy thingies? Looks like the bridge level indicator display indicating that bridge is not lowered. Look at you, Mr. I know my stuff. Nuclear launch strike! Can I press it? It says I can press it. Cool! Um... Oh, boy. Let's just keep this between us. It never happened. Achievement unlocked. Doody, don't touch the button. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm guessing we need shiny What's thing? this shiny thingy? Looks like a detailed user instruction plate. Don't recognize the language, though. I want to say Chinese. Yeah, let's get out of this. Um, because I don't think we we can use anything here. Magnet? We use a magnet here. Not sure how. Nope. Uh, um, sword. Stick the sword in, in as a fuse. For... Nope. Um, pen knife. Swift Some army knife. knife. Nope. We need to find. We need to find the key for this panel. We need to find maybe a key and a fuse. Right. So Pete's got the key, maybe. Okay. How do I get out of this? There's no quit out option. Oh, can we put the mug in here? Nope. Okay. Uh, oil can? That would be fun. That would be fun, but no. Okay, go back. We should get back to the harbor. You're right. Really? Was that literally the only way out of that? That's annoying. Oh, at least I can double click and it moves fast. Okay, what else? We should have explored the rest of the room. So, briefcase? Hat. Manuscript, desk stuff. Who carries I'd... a screwdriver around? I'm pretty sure that's his car key. I'll take it with me. We can return it later. You'll just take it. Really? You. Oh, shut up. So we now have a key. Okay. Trash can? It's trash. Fascinating. Right? <clears throat> Manuscript. <clears throat> Elizabeth jumped from her chair suddenly. All of the while looking at her mother. She seemed nervous. Mom, she asked, what if Mr. Mason doesn't find me interesting? Or pretty? Oh, sweetie, Mrs. Baker said. Don't you worry your pretty little head with such nonsense. Mr. Mason comes from a long line of public servants like his father and his father before that. They're the most boring people on earth. I'm sure he'll find you quite invigorating. You really think so? Elizabeth asked. Elizabeth! Mrs. Baker raised her voice slightly. Annoyed by her daughter's doubtfulness. I said you'll do just fine. Now hurry on. Get yourself presentable. He'll be here soon. But mother, Elizabeth said tremblingly, I'm already wearing my prettiest dress. Oh dear, her mother gasped. Elizabeth broke into tears and ran upstairs to her room, passing her father in the hall. Okay, oh captain, my captain. The 
the sum of a man's life can be found on his office desk. Is that why yours is full of booze? It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. Hmm, boxes? Somebody really loves to draw boxes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That moment the character realizes he's actually in a, a game or a, a comic. And the person hat just like this. that designed what him to it, Ted? It's a likes to draw boxes. Story. Um, what else we got? Desk stuff. Can. Just an empty can. Okay. Desk the sum stuff. of a man's life. Can... Is that why yours is... It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. <laughs> um, bottles? Ted, are you working here? Don't act smart. Hey! <laughs> okay, I think we now have... Ooh, coat. So easy to miss that. There are a couple of coins in here. We'll just borrow them. Wow. Thief! The coat really goes well with that briefcase. Never took you for a fashion expert, Ted. This suit and tie are no accident, Missy. Funny <clears throat> you should use that word, accident. Wow, we have quite an assortment of things now. We have a screwdriver, a magnet, an oil can, a pamphlet, and some coins. So, should we take another gamble at this control panel? Um, All if, right, the, let's... if this doesn't work, we can at least go back to the diner. Um, so we can try... We can try... Uh, what can we try? We can try a coin? I'm not thr No, okay. Uh, can we try a screwdriver in here? Someone could get hurt that... Uh, screwdrivers work as a fuse. Not sure how that. Mm. Someone. Okay, so that wasn't as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Coins, we're definitely not going to be able to put in here, are we? I'm not throwing money. No. Okay. Let's go back to the diner and see if we can't use something here on uh, Mr. Sleepy. We should get back to the harp. You're right. Now that I know double clicking is a thing, that's remarkably useful. Um, okay, see if we can speak to Betty and just get a drink now. Uh, it's not. Who's it? No. Okay, so let's try let's try using some of these things on Pete. So we can try oh coins on the jukebox, so we get some music playing. Maybe that will wake up Pete. All right, come on, fortune. Oh, he just woke up and chucked his keys in the grill. Oh, hello. I can see Pete's keys in there. We need something to fish it out. We have a magnet. We have a magnet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move that out of the way. So what can we, can we put the screwdriver and the magnet? Sure that would no, we've still got a coin. We need to put the magnet and we need to wrap it somehow. Um... What can we wrap it with? The fishing rod! We need the fishing rod wire to wrap things. Can we try and talk to Pete? Does that work now? Z -z 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 -z. Try using the oil can on Pete? That'd be fun. <laughs> but no. Is the magnet on Pete? Not sure how that Nope. Use his car key? Someone could get a No. Okay, let's get outside. Let's try using the car key on the key. The car key on the key? The car key on the car, even. And... Like a glove. Like a glove! It could be useful. Okay, what was? What did we just pick up? <gasps> the fuse! Yay! Okay, so we've got a fuse. So, we need the fishing line. Can we go and steal the fishing line? Don't worry about it. Can we go and steal this Looks guy's like fishing line? Violent. I don't buy it. We got something to cut the fishing line. We haven't. We want. We need that fishing line. Can you like not stand? Is there any way we can convince him for the fishing line? Clark, any chance we can borrow your? Yeah, there we go. Head? Yeah. It's not like you need it anyways. No, no, I need it. For the cover. No, I have a feeling they'll start fighting soon. All the women you're harassing? The fish! I'm just here to fish, damn it. 
how about you two be useful for a change and go get me some coffee from the diner? I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why don't you go and get it? Um, I, I would, but I, um, I, I can't leave this here post for too long. Maybe we can keep an eye while you go get some coffee. Yeah, I mean, no one ever went to jail for getting the cup of coffee. You could be the first. You're just trying to get rid of me so you can steal my rod. No, we would never. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if we get you some coffee, will you give us your fishing rod? I'll think about it. Okay, so now we know we need the coffee. Let's see if we now get another option. Hi, Betty. Uh, it's not. Who's it? It's for Clark. It's for Clark quote-unquote fisherman out there. My God, he's relentless. You can give him this. Tell him I've made it especially for him. Did you? You didn't poison the... Do I look like a murderer to you? I mean, yes. Not right now. Oh my God, I've spiked it with some pepper, Ted. <laughs> okay, coffee into mug. Voila, it's complete. We now have spiked coffee. Okay. Get outside. Okay, let's get walking over here while I go in this. And you spiked coffee on clock. Does she run if I double click? No. The long, long way together through the hot times and the good. I have to set a bridge, baby. Here you go, buddy. Betty said she made it especially for you. Hmm. Smells lovely. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Clark. Clark, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm soaked and it's freezing. Throw me something and get me out, you two idiots. Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Clark. I feel so bad about this. I'll just take the fishing rod. Thank you. Achievement unlocked. Soaking the stalker. I'm sure Sneezy won't mind. Okay, we now... Right, so we need to combine the fishing rod with the magnet. Never did enjoy fishing. Magnet with fishing Not rod? Not sure how that would help. Hmm. We need... Okay, let's try and get inside first. And let's try just using the fishing rod on the grill. On the shop. Never did enjoy. No. Okay. Um. So how can we combine this? We need to combine this and this somehow. Can we use? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that works. So we've got a fishing line. Now let's throw this entire fishing rod away. Uh, we've got a fish skeleton. So use the fishing line on the magnet. Behold the MCD three thousand, the latest craze in fishing out metal things from hard to reach places. <laughs> Can we now combine it with this? Achievement unlocked, metal attraction. To look for something. Okay, let's just try using this on here. Oh, this looks promising. This looks promising. Nice, I got the keys. I'm so crafty. Cool. Okay, we now got the keys. Oh, what? They used up the magnet, really? Okay. So we can get back. We know where we're going now. Get to the bridge. Get into the control room. Go onto the control panel. I can't... Use. And... All right. Let's put the fuse in. Voila! Seems like a good idea, but something is missing. We need to turn the key down here. There. Yay! It's coming down. We did it, Ma. Achievement unlocked. Bridge over troubled water. Man, there's a lot of achievements in this game. It's lowered. As opposed to when it wasn't. <laughs> Yay, containers. Ooh, no seagulls. <laughs> okay. Of course, you know. Shoo! Seagulls go away because, you know, the seagulls are known for their ability to read signs and pay attention. Wow. Obsessed much? Indeed. Stark Industries? Really? 
Really? Nice uh, Iron Man reference there. Oh, there's another no seagull sign down here. Uh, Stark Industries? Sounds familiar. Doesn't <laughs> ring a bell. Jarvis. Sir, I'm afraid I've never been <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Containers. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. Um, what else we got? Containers, containers, containers. Can we carry on? Um, no seagulls, containers. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want. Hmm. Nothing over here. Can we not go any further this way? else can we... What are we missing here? Funny, but... I hmm. Containers, containers, containers. No seagull signs. No seagull sign. Fence? Fences. Fences, indeed. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything here. CBG really hates the birds, unlike Mr. Birdwatcher over here. Wow. Obs uh. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. 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 Hmm. There's nothing I can use here, is there? Throwing this away is about... Um... Sword on a no container? For it. I'm not missing anything, am I? B1, seagull sign. Um, what does Bear say? I feel like littering for some reason. Oh, okay. Pamphlet on the floor. Throwing this away. Is Skeleton on the floor. Nope. Funny. You feel like littering for some reason. Pamphlet with bones? No. Um, sword on no time. pamphlet. No. Hmm. Popcorn. Oh. Oh. Is this going to attract seagulls? Maybe. Yes. We have seagull. Hey. Mine. 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 Oh, boy. Betty Seagulls. Mine. 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 Oh. Dramatic music. It's Batman. Beast. Ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but... No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, Bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too, Ted. Is that the girl? She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? It's not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh. Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. What do you know about Red? What do you want? What do you know about Red? How are you holding up? We're looking for Flint. Okay, what start the top and work down. Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago. And now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day, but the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills, and I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise. The one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The one and only. What makes you think it was King? What makes you think it was King? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, Ted. The police did such a sloppy job. You think someone was paying them off? The pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. <laughs> do a little investigation of your own. And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him, especially someone who's obviously unhinged. 
and hard to control. For his own personal gain, I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. Uh, how are you holding up? How are you holding up, B? We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hardworking bunch. The salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily is all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat nowadays. CBG, we're looking for Flint. Yeah, he's gone missing, and we fear the Red Man had something to do with it. Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city. Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him. Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing. Okay, so I gather you didn't see him. Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos! I could have easily missed him even if he were here. Which I doubt. Honestly, can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie told me he was missing since last night. Oh yeah, I heard about what happened to Millie. Poor gal. Yeah, that was really sad. But how could you know about this? It happened last night, and me and the doll were the only ones there. News travels fast around here. Especially when you have a guy like Blabbermouth going around taking notes and whatnot. What happened to Millie, it was our fault. It was the Red Man, girl. Even if you two were there, I doubt there was much you could have done. My words, exactly. But still. Anyways, there was no note. Nothing. It's like he vanished. Coincidentally, we found some evidence that Red was at her house at the same time Kid went missing. It's just too big of a coincidence. The two are connected somehow. No such thing as a coincidence, Ted. You should know this by now. Okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the paper city to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. And you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Red has been asking around about her. But what I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor, that pig, the shark, and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl. Yes. She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. But it seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you. If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down. For good this time. You go home. And stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in a mansion. It's where they gather, Ted. The seagulls. <laughs> I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. Still. Especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. Nonsense. You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Uh, do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. King would leave something so obvious at the crime scene. I know. But at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. <laughs> Aw, bless. She's still considerate. Okay, so we should go and see about the steel mill first, right? I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigran Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid clues and... Fine. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Okay. So, out we go. Down to the diner. Paper City. Right, okay, we've got more of it opened up. Tigrin's Lair. Tigrin's, Tigrin's, Tigrin's Lair. Okay, so we're going to Tigrin's Lair. Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place, I have to admit, and hand it to Amber. She really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty, and unforgiving. 
but most of all, it feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Everyone here has got a story to tell, and if you lend him your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything. And in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her, but I miss her sometimes, and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life, and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tigrant Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a long, long night. Ted, it's him. He's here. Ted, Ted. What the hell? Go get him. Why are you standing there? I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you... did you not see him? Him? The red man. He was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... I... don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay. Just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too, but now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. <laughs> no, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. Feeling pretty sure this tired. Is, doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No. Because we're walking around dirty back alleys, instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying, you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm, I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Snoop Bear. Now, I can see there's an entrance here because of the way the bricks are kind of broken open. We've got some chalk. We've got a ritual altar. We've got some sort of tire here. We've got horns coming out of the wall, by the looks of it. Lumber. Window. This window's got a highlight around it, so I don't know if that comes into play. Lamp. Lamp, voodoo skull. Right, let's have a look at the note. I bet it's a recipe. You goofball. Have a read. I'm guessing it's probably instructions for constructing the altar. We've got five plates in the middle as well. What does it say? Back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Voodoo charm. We use that on the skull? Hmm. 
Nothing magical happens. Really? Ooh. To Traveller. Drown me in water, touch me with fire. Bring me the mountains and the skies above. And for the last of these things that you have to bring is the sign of the ill-fated and lost love. And forever lost love. Only then may you enter the goddess's lair. Only then can you witness my everlasting glare. She can teach you all about the flickers of life that starts with embrace and ends with a knife. Ooh, that sounds a bit spooky. So, at a guess, I'm going to be collecting some things that I'm going to be using in that ritual. Uh, and... Um... We go to the mansion or to the steel mill? Let's go to the steel mill first. Uh, we're going to be collecting things in that... Ooh. That we're going to use in that ritual before we get in. So, hello, Stevie. Brian? Who? Uh, Brian? No, Stevie. Brian? What? I'm not Brian. I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is. Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait, so am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian. We're <laughs> it's totally so different. confusing. He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm wow. the hair dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache. Look at it. They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. Doll, I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Because that might be a federal offense. Might be. You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. <laughs> Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm. I don't know. We've got Come a coin. On, I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here. Maybe we Ted. should... Doll's getting dizzy over <laughs> there. Stan. Okay, Stan? fine. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. That's a lie. What? We have a coin. You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. Um, there's a pipe. Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. Okay. Um, I guess we can't do anything with the walkie-talkie. Cog? Looks like this could move the crane. Ooh. Can we go over? Or is he going to stop us? No, we can go over. Okay. Hey, don't touch... He's not going to let us do anything. Can we give him a coin? Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, um... Achievement unlocked. Attempt of bribery. Fish skeleton? How about this nice comb for your mustache? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, if you put it like that. <laughs> Vo voodoo charm? Let us in or I'll shrink your head. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oil can? Can we interest you in this state-of-the-art oil can, perhaps? Is that a thing? Okay, bluff called. Um, pamphlets. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. No! Bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. The big bubble leagues. Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? 
How was it? They they should have sent a poet. <laughs> I feel it, buddy. <laughs> the warm. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made, made of money. 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 All right, go on in. Nothing in there but rubble and ash, anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. I, I can't Let's believe. Go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's <sighs> really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. Fair point. Bribe. Is he going to stop us still? I'll just confiscate this, obviously. Um, now we can go and have a look at this. I think. Handle is missing, though. Okay, we need to find the handle, uh, which I'm guessing is inside. Every ashes and rust. Sounds like Hemingway's book title. <laughs> um, Stevie Debris. Okay, let's go inside. Ooh. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh, what? You know, establish a perimeter. What does that even mean? Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well. Bear. Is it the stubble? <laughs> it's more your posture and the dusty old suit. That's Bear stubble. Color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark. Uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of you. Yeah. Well, this place is dusty. It's dusting up my... You're dusty. Now, <laughs> let's get to work. <laughs> you're I, dusty, I, I all right. like standing inside a burned-down factory at night for some reason. I can see a spanner. A wrench, sorry. Uh, there's a mouse hole over there. I love how the whole steel mill has fallen down, but the mouse hole has survived. I'll just take this adjust a babble wrench with me. Adjust a babble. That's what I said. I speak real goods. It's adjust a babble. Sound. Uh, do not cross debris. What else we got? We got a crane. I wonder if the crane still works. That's a Liber original doll. Germans are sure building them to last. Uh, bucket. Can I use the wrench and the pipe on the crane, maybe? We can't reach it from down here. Sure wish we had that magical attic hook with us right now. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that? It served its purpose, I guess. Wouldn't want to make things too easy now. <laughs> Once again, like, the creator, game creator, has kind of reached out a little bit there. So can we combine, like, a wrench and a pipe? There. We got a yeah. wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. We have a crank. Can we use nah. the crank on the crane? No, we use the crank on the thing outside, though, I bet. Ooh, ooh, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Good as new. Oh, yeah. Okay, back inside. Oh, did we... I don't think we cranked the crank, did we? We totally should have cranked it. Oops. I derped. Derp, derp. Crank it. Crank it like it's hard. Seems like it's stuck. We should oil it up. Ah. Bit of lube. Apply lube. That would be fun. But no. What? No. Because I applied it on Ted, didn't I? Cog. There. Good as new. Now crank it. Crank it. Oh. Nice cranking. Great job, Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? Oh, that's my level of terrible puns. We have a bucket! I has a bucket. Is there anything in the bucket? Westpaw Casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. Ooh. Okay, I think we've got everything we can get from here. Uh, let's get out of here. And let's go back to Paper City. To the mansion, I guess? Oh! Red Man! CPG. Oh, I'm playing the Red Clark, Man! where are you? Oh my god, what the hell? Clark, where are you? 
I can I can kill the CBG. CBG? Get me out of here. Sure thing, buddy. Let me go get my grappling hook. You're not shooting that thing near me. Well, what do you want me to do? Fish you out? That's so funny. I would laugh when my face is frozen stiff. Uh, uh, CBG, turn around. CBG, turn around. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Don't do it. Oh, achievement unlocked. The Dark Knight falls. Oh, did I just kill him? I could have gone into the diner. I should have gone into the diner. Intercom. I didn't want to kill Betty. Um, Intercom. I'm in mood for some cheeseburgers, to be honest. But ask for no pickles. It's not a drive through tag. <clears throat> well, not with that attitude. It's a bear that can't handle his pickles. Hello? <laughs> it's got a mustache. Who's there? Uh, late night pizza delivery, National Security Committee, we have to save the president. Door to door preachers, real estate inspectors, Ted and Amber, never mind. Um, National Security Committee, we have to it's save the, the president. National Security Committee, we need to talk to the mayor, it's urgent. And what is this all about? We need him to save the president's life, man. Hmm, and who is our president? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is our president? Howard? No, no. His mandate ended last year. No, you're thinking of Mitchell. Am I? Was he the one with the dress? All right, whatever. Will you let us in? God damn it. Be gone, you kids. Uh, late night pizza delivery. Late night pizza delivery. Enjoy the bite out of our midnight special. Late night pizza? What nonsense is this? We would appreciate it if you didn't bash on our business model, sir. Be gone, you kids. That's rude. Some people. How wooed. Door-to-door -door preachers. Hello there, fellow corrupt official. <laughs> you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Almighty Buck. Absolutely not. Didn't think so. Um, real estate inspector. It's the overpriced mansion inspection. Can we come in? Your colleague was here just this morning. Wait, really? Yes. Now leave me alone. It's the middle of the night. Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> Let's just try Ted and Amber. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right. Better come in, you two. Okay. Let's go and have a look at the fountain. The fountain is a bit much, though. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, right on, man. Right on, right on. All right, all right, all right. Let's go into the mansion. Oh my god, it's Mr. Herbert, really? Well, okay, the intercom really does have a mustache. Cabinet, stickers, we got over here. Mills sign. Vote for Mills. Mills is a pig. Mills is actually a pig. This light has. is petals? Hello, Mr. Herbert. Can we walk around before we speak to Mr. Herbert? Because I, I fancy stealing some things. Like, there's some stickers over here which I really want to steal. Yoink. Are we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. Me too. Cabinet? This nice art deco piece really ties the room together. Very swanky. Um, pig sculpture. Slick and elegant sculptures by Pigelangelo. Pigelangelo. That's funny. It's Michelangelo, but pig version. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, let's go and have a word with Mr. Herbert, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to go upstairs at some point. Hello, Mr. Herbert. Hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion, the scarecrow <laughs> of the rest of the gang? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow We're off the to see the wizard, ground. the wonderful wizard of Oz. Out? Hi there. Sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the steel mill fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah, <clears throat> it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. I... Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the last <laughs> man now. As you wish, madam. Sir. Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. 
Say it. Say Lloyd's here, too. And... <sighs> her dim-witted donkey, Lloyd. <laughs> wow. That was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is expecting you in his office. That actually hmm. work? Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up the stairs, to your right. Watch your step. Sure. And hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. If Just I only a had a heart! Uh, up we go. Oh, hello, Mr. Piggy. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo, how are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. We sure did. Ah, uh, if I could go back now when life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Mm. Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. Tell Miss Brian let you in. Don't tell him Brian let you in. Um, 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 um. That one. We use the East Tunnel's maintenance shaft. Yeah, whatever the case. I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you <laughs> two already heard about the red man. We did. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. I'm a bear, not a rat. Stop him, Ted. I've heard what happened to Millie. Such a shame. Poor gal. How did you hear about that? It happened last night. The news travels fast around here, Ted. You know that. Well, that red freak is going to pay for what he's done. I'm going to make sure of that. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? What do you mean? Who else? Is this a statue of you? Ah, uh, well, yes, Federico Champon himself. I believe it's known as a bust. I was elected mm. the mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I, I don't believe it. King and I... W w w w w yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the Westpaw Club and Casino. D Dad, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard-pressed facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge house? It's for a big that's, lock. Um, that, that's the key to the city, girl. Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive it. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was, well, sleepy that day. He was drunk, wasn't he? <laughs> Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. We'll stop by King's Casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge, I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to Charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. You think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long, and now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino, for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Ooh. Oh boy, you think King was the one that brought Red to Paper City? I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Uh, 
Could this have something to do with the elections? Well, that's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No? I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser King's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. Uh, owls? <laughs> we'll go and try to get in. Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let King get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Anyways, we have to go now, Daniel. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Ted. Just want your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. Won't be food again. It's me. They're on the way. Ooh. Ted, wait. We need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything, because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the red man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet, but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay. Big face. Ooh, haven't it? This nice art deco piece. Uh. Beautiful, and not even plastic. I prefer the plastic ones, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, me too. Easier to keep. You can get some real good high quality plastic ones that almost look exactly like um, proper ones. They're like plastic and cloth ones, but, you know, yeah. I, I know that for reasons. Um, So, back to the city, I guess? Man, stickers. Can't really use them yet. So, drown me in water, touch me with fire. So, I'm guessing we need water, we need fire. We need like a match or something. Bring me the mountains and the skies above. I don't know what that one could be. Some earth, maybe? Or ice? I don't know. And for all these things you have to bring is the sign of the ill-fated and forever lost love. Maybe that's what the the, the, the thingy that I have is for. Um, only then you enter the goddess's lair. Only then can you witness the everlasting glare. She will teach you about them. Yeah, I think I think we need some primal ingredients here. Where's poor Casino? As I suspected, seeking out Tigran was a waste of time. We came to a dead end, literally and figuratively. It got the doll mad. I admire Amber. She'll be a fine detective herself one day, but sometimes she tends to rely on speculations too much. I understand why she feels this way though, seeing as we're still miles away from finding her brother. CBG's tip about the steel mill, however, proved right on the nose. Although we found some evidence, surprisingly overlooked by the ever-incompetent PCPD, I can't shake the feeling they were set up a little too conveniently. Westpaw Casino matches and a voodoo trinket which suggest involvement of the infamous Reef King. Matches! King is as smart as he is ruthless. Shocking. And it seems to me leaving all that obvious clues around doesn't really fit the MO of a man who eluded the hands of justice for most of his life. Something was fishy about all of this, but it wasn't the shark. This whole red situation seems like a perfect opportunity for someone to hide their tracks, someone with highly political ambitions. Daniel Mills is a politician through and through, no doubt about it. I've known Daniel for a long time, but knife to my throat, I couldn't tell you three things about him that you couldn't read in any newspaper. That's why I could never trust him, and I don't trust him now. If the pig and the shark think they can turn Paper City into their own political battleground at the cost of people's lives, I'll take them both down. And what are I... you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. Aww. I'm sitting in the sound booth alone. Were you doing your diary thing again? It's not a diary. <laughs> I needed some time to think. Can you close the door? Fine, can you hurry up? We have a case to solve. You can record your little diary later. Will you just... God damn it. I lost my train of thought. Might as well just wrap it up. Relax, jeez. Take your time, Anne Frank. <laughs> she ruined it. Can you cut that out in post? Sure thing, buddy. I'll definitely remember to do that. <laughs> Anyways... All the clues seem to lead to the Westpaw Casino, so I'll play ball for now. Let's just see how all of this plays out. 
and eventually how deep fried this surf and turf dish really is. Hopefully, come dawn, we'll be one step closer to finding Flint than we are now. I love the fact his monologue was interrupted. <laughs>